very nice, Frankie. I'm sure you will agree, just as I planned. I believe she has all the assets necessary to become a premier scientific laboratory assistant. Okay, look, the fact that you're saying these things are fine is how you say them. It's like, oh, ex exhilarating experiments were. That's great. She's a lab experiment. She has all the assets necessary to be a lab, uh, lab assistant. That's fantastic. But it's like, she has all the assets, uh, boobs. And, ugh. But actually, this is kind of weird because I don't think I've actually ever seen Frankie. Could it be? Has Dr. Cranium at last succeeded in the ancient dream of bringing back life? To the dead. Dude, I did that last night. Or is this just someone who had a little too much to drink at the mad doctor's party last night? No, I don't have any doubt whatsoever that that Frankie is real. Uh, oh, I talked to Frankie and I talked to him. I was like, Frankie! <laughs> is she not a wonder? My Frankie, fully functional in every way. God damn fact, it! I imagine she could even, you know, when you. <laughs> no! <laughs> in the in the in the he did everything but make like a little <laughs> fingers like, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, he's gonna fuck it. I am a genius! I shall be famous everywhere! There have been others who have worked on the reanimation of dead tissue, but no scientist has a Frankie like mine! Whoopee! <laughs> People like to say whoopee now? Fantastic. Dare I? I am sorry, but I really cannot reveal the nature of the experiments Frankie and I intend to perform. The world may not yet be ready for them. It's better you keep those kind of experiments behind closed doors. Taking credit for my results. Besides, Frankie is a little shy. <laughs> I... I'm just gonna leave you to it. Goodbye. You say goodbye. I trust you will continue to do research throughout the forest. I never want to come back here again. Do not be concerned if you should be unable to reach me during the next few days. Uh -huh. Frankie and I shall be engaged in some very important and engrossing scientific research. You're fucking her. Okay, it's... That really makes me queasy and I don't know quite else how to feel about what's going on in that office right now. Oh, God. Well, let's go visit some other people we haven't talked to. Let's go talk to the Rizalka. Ah, oh, devil bird! Let's go talk to the Rizalka a little bit. You know, just see how she's doing. Because I do want to help her, but I just don't know how. There she is. Well, there she will be. And there she is. How you doing? Hi again. I'd hoped you'd come back. It gets lonely here with no one to talk to but the fish. You know, we'd better not touch. I'd have to drag you to your death, and I really don't want to do that. You've been kind to me, and I like you. Aww. Man, everybody loves me here. Katrina wants me, and the Rizalka wants me. Let's see. Hello! Welcome back. Alright. Doesn't look like I can talk to her much about anything new. I swim a lot, and comb my hair, and look for people to drag to their deaths. It's not exactly a busy schedule. How many people actually come by this lake? Well, unfortunately, there's not too much else I can do with her. You sure have been a lot of places. I may have been places while I was alive, but... Alright. The only people I know who will be able to help her will be the gypsies. So let's go and visit them. There must be something I can do to help her out. And lift this curse upon her beautiful body. I notice that when I'm not sneaking everywhere, I keep my stamina high. It's like it doesn't drain. So I guess sneaking everywhere was what was killing me. Speaking of killing me... Okay... In my dreams last night, I heard the Arana staff speak. It said the sacrifice had been made. The dead had risen, and the living had died. Sounds spooky. When I awoke, I feared it was you who made the sacrifice. I sent Davy to discover the truth. He climbed over the wall and started sniffing around where the staff had been. He became scared when he caught your scent there. But then 
He scented you going with the child to the inn. He sensed me. It is not our way to be concerned about outsiders. You have certainly become more than an outsider to us. Can I be an honorary gypsy? That'd be awesome. Let's see if I can actually talk about the sacrifice. Yeah, I can. You tell about Tanya, Toby, and the staff. So the child has been restored to life through the sacrifice of Toby. And the staff of Irana is in your possession. Oh, with this, you have undoubtedly angered someone very powerful. Uh-oh. I would be very careful traveling at night if I were you. I got the staff of Arata. What are they gonna do about me? Ah, I can beat him over the head with it because I have no idea what to do with it. Let's see. Let's see if she tell me anything more about Dark One. Do not speak of it. Ah. Do not think of it, for it will drive you mad. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Cthulhu. My bad. How are you doing? But I have had a great deal of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the vampires. Listen. It is said that the only certain way to kill a vampire is to drive a wooden stake through its heart. This can only be done while the creature is helpless during the day. Good to know. The Nosferatu have great powers of enchantment, and those foolish enough to face a vampire by night usually wind up feeding its lust for blood. Good to know. Don't mess with them during the night. Well, that's fantastic. All right, well, she's not saying anything about the Rizalka, but, hey, it's time for another reading. Again, the cards are prepared. All right, here we go. Who's the subject today? Queen of Cups. Uh, I forgot who that was. Was that Irana or Katrina or something? Or... A woman of loving shall be revealed. What may we now learn of her distant past? Maybe that's Irana. It'd be kind of cool to learn about her. We've been hearing about her for the last four games. A magician. Yeah, okay, definitely a Rana. This is the sign of magic and creativity. She, as the others who influence your life, has the power. She is the one to whom magic has been the strongest influence upon her life. She is a master weaver of spells. Good to know. That's something of cups, the one of cups, I imagine? Ace. Close. The Ace of Cups is the sign of overflowing joy and happiness. This is a woman who uses her power joyfully, giving gracefully and lovingly to others. All right, yeah, she was a saint. Ah, she is generous and loving. Okay, yeah, we get it, we get it, we get it. Recent past. Eight of Swords. I'm not sure what that means. I think we've seen that card before. Ah, your gentlewoman too has been bound by something. A crisis has occurred, a defeat or imprisonment by someone. Now, what more can we learn? Maybe if we learn a little bit more, we can learn how to set her free. That would be nice. Uh, the priest? Is that what that says? The, it looks like a priest. This is a sign of balanced force, a stalemate, of things not coming to a resolution. Okay, so she's... That with which the woman came in conflict has also been held in check. They were locked in battle, or they were both defeated in the past. What then of the present? Okay, it's starting to make a little bit of sense to me with this battle they were talking about. I'm piecing it together. The Hanged Man. I thought that was actually like a good thing. The Hanged Man is the symbol of sacrifice. Nope. The conflict in the past required this woman to give up something of great value. She has paid some great price, but the outcome is uncertain. So she sacrificed herself to get rid of the Dark One, but it sounds like she's sort of trapped by it now. So maybe that's what they mean by the stalemate. Uh, four of swords, I guess that is, seeing that there are four swords and stuff. Alas, this card shows a tomb and someone at final rest. The woman's sacrifice was exile, or possibly even death. Oh, Rana. Yet, her sacrifice still affects you. Somehow, I cannot believe that her sacrifice was in vain. Well, she doesn't even know me. How could she sacrifice herself for me? Uh oh, the void came early this time. <gasps> the Dark One. 
This is the first time in these readings that the darkness which lies waiting has been active rather than merely a major influence. All right, that's a little scary. Somehow, this woman is bound by the darkness. Whether she has been subverted or destroyed, I cannot tell. But something remains, or else there would be no reading. All right, this is the first time we've gotten the I void and been able to continue. A woman battled with the Dark One. She was defeated, or perhaps sacrificed herself to prevent it from entering this world. But what will the outcome of all this be? Okay, so the cult was trying to bring the Dark One back into the world, and then at the mouth of the cave, then they got into a big fight. The Dark One perhaps was summoned like halfway, and then Arana sacrificed herself to stop it from being completed, and now they're both trapped in limbo. Uh, what is that? Three, two of swords, or what's, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what that is. You! Ah! That you are not only a friend to the gypsies, but a great hero as well. Oh, your destiny shall affect the world, my young friend. Oh, no pressure. You will determine the fate of this woman. You shall face the Dark One. Reveal the final influence upon this reading. Oh, God. Well, it can't be the Void this time. So Another... <laughs> it is. How many are in this deck? It's like the two Jokers. That you might not have to face the darkness. But that is the way of the hero, is it not? To face that which others fear and dread. That's me. Go now. Learn what you can of the Dark One. The more you know of your enemy, the greater the chances you have against it. Oh, boy. These readings get increasingly more difficult for me. They draw an incredible amount of power from me. Sorry, but thanks. All right, well, I'll try it again tomorrow. I'm still kind of bummed I can't ask her anybody. Oh, I can't ask her anybody about the Rizalka, but... Eh, oh well. Well, bye! You say goodbye. May your luck hold true. Be wary, for your enemies may soon act against you. Alright, good, and we get this plot moving. Alrighty, well, I think we've accomplished a lot. We went to go talk to everybody. For now, I think that's about everything we can do until the plot decides to start moving. So let's rest until nighttime, and then if they're gonna make a move against me, hey, might as well be now. I'm ready. Are you? There's probably gonna be a lot of skipping around here as I bumble my way from one place to another, but I I honestly think that until we really know or have a solution, we're kind of stuck. Okay, now I did a little bit of research and I found out that as a thief, I don't think we're actually able to help the Rizalka, which is really disappointing because it's it's really a touching scene, but it also means I'm carrying around this broom for no reason because you kind of use that in the quest, but nothing else, unless we can just sort of dust off a couple things around here. That didn't do anything useful. No. Oh well. Well, let's go put this away and then we can figure out what else to do and climb you over the gate like a deaf little thief. Yep. One of the few things we can do, definitely, and I do kind of miss having this little candle on the cake here, but at least now we have it. As a true thief, we just want everything. Excellent. Now, I don't even know if it's late enough to be sneaking around, but whatevs. You put it in the chest. You put it in the chest. What else do you expect of me? God. Oh, man, that is like the new, the pouch is empty. It's like, you put it in the chest. Let's give it some corn, too. Say it again, John. You put it in the chest. <laughs> you sound so fed up with everything. <laughs> again, again, again. Uh, the candy eggshell need. Flint, I was like, what else What else do we not need? Uh, I don't think we need any more bones. We definitely don't need these flowers anymore. Though I could pick some more. Here. Yeah, put it in the chest. You put it in the chest. <laughs> Uh, oh, that never gets old. Okay. Let's just sleep till morning. We got nothing else to do. Whatevs. Oh, ho, ho. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Thank goodness for my thiefy uh, interior alarm clock. Internal alarm clock. Whatever. It's in the interior. It's inside of me. Whatever. Someone has left a note for you on the chest. 
You have no idea how they could have put it there without awakening you. Hmm. Again, you can kind of tell the lines that we recorded by John a little bit late in the session, but let's see who left a note for me. The note says, Meet me at the castle gates tonight. We have much to talk about. Katrina. Okay, well, I appreciate you trying to do her voice, John, but... I, I, I think I can take it. Well, that means... I think, quite honestly, we only have one more night before end game officially begins. But that doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet, Goldilocks. We still got a long way to go. End game is uh, pretty involved, but I give it a head start. You eat your plain but nourishing breakfast. It has more than a bit of garlic added for spice. <sighs> he sounds so bored. Well, let's see how Bella and Yuri are doing. Uh, oh, I can ask him about the dark one. Well, let's start off the conversation light, shall we? Child! While Tanya was away from us, she learned to read and write. Uh -huh. Now she is teaching me to read. I have always wanted to learn how to read. Together, Tanya and I will teach all the women of the town to read and write. Why would a woman need to read or write? That is like teaching a horse to dance! Enter the next century, Yuri. Yuri! You and I will have a talk later. Tonight, in fact. Oh, somebody ain't getting none unless he brings himself down for women's suffrage. Good job, Bella. Yeah, you, you whip him into shape, Bella! Why, I couldn't be happier. My baby is back and everyone is well here. Sounds like she had more to say, but all right. All right. The, the nameless ones, her uh, name will not be mentioned. I don't know much about that, but it's supposed to be bad luck to speak of it. Toy, toy! <laughs> it was supposed to have something to do with a, with an old uh, monastery. Uh, something to do with the monastery and cult and worshipping and thing. And that it had something to do with uh, Irana's death. And rumors that say it is the cause of all the problems here in Mordavia. Other than that, <laughs> I can't tell you anything. Uh, well, you kind of told me everything, but that's fine. Yuri, how you doing there, sport? We do not dare to speak of the uh, Dark One. For that way lies madness and despair. I'm sorry, I... I cannot help you. Cthulhu Fatagan, Hail Hydra. J uh, well, yeah, child. She is well. She helps her mother during the day, and we make certain she is safe at night. No one will ever steal her from us again. All right, well, good. All right, how, Yuri, how you doing there, buddy? I see you squinting at me. You, you are very suspicious of me, and I don't blame you. I am well. I'm very happy. You have to trust me on that. I am incapable of smiling, but you can see the joy that permeates every fiber of my being. I really like his coat, too. I really want his jacket. All right. Well, bye. I guess if tomorrow begins end game, we might as well make our peace with everybody. See how everyone's doing. Good day, and good to see you again. Oh, look how happy he sounds to see me. Oh, thank you, uh, D Dimitri. That's your name. Hi. Good to see you. Well, let's see how he's doing. Let's see if he has any more news of the day. Oh, everyone wants to talk about the Dark One now. Dark One! I have not spoken of it before, because I know so little. They worshipped it in the okay. morning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we already yeah, heard that part. That. We already heard that. Okay, he doesn't have anything new to say, so goodbye. Now, against my better judgment, let's go see if Dr. Cranium is done playing. Oh, I was not paying attention well enough. Ah. Oh, well, let's cut this part out. God damn it. Da 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 da. Oh, no. There we go. First try, like a boss. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
All right. Dr. Cranium, please have your pants on. Hey, everybody. Hey, if you want to see more, if you like it, please click this little subscribe button up there. If you'd like to watch a little bit more Quest for Glory stuff, click little plushy sneaky feet. And if you want to watch some King's Quest stuff, which I know you do, click plushy Cedric. <laughs> Everyone loves Cedric.